Hey everyone, it's your boy here, Big Bad Daddy Bardock, and I'm back with another reaction video. So today, we'll be reacting to Dragon Ball Dimer, Episode 1. So it's finally here, after all these years, we finally get a new Dragon Ball anime series. So, without further ado, let's dive into Akira Toriyama's final legacy piece. Alright, here we go. So we got the sun, I think. Dragon Balls, when seven of these mysterious balls are gathered, and the password. <laughs> Do you remember when Frieza was freaking out because he couldn't get the password for the Namekian Balls? That was funny. I like watching Frieza squirm. How good does Kakarot look there? Oh, young Kakarot. Hey, all the classic crew. Hey, it's Raditz, my boy. Hey, who's that handsome devil? Even I got a spot in the new anime. Hey, a nice little homage to the uh, old DBZ opening there. Planet Earth. Planet Earth. Conspiracy. The Demon Realm looks really cool. Kind of gives me Oblivion vibes. Did you ever play Oblivion? Like Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. Similar to uh, Kronoa's Time Nest. If you ever see the time nest, it kind of looks a bit like that. I suppose because it's something to do with, I don't know, the Kais, the demons, or whatever. Babbity ship. Skeleton doola, baby doola, bibbity babbity boo. Put them together, and what have you got? Bibbity babbity boo. I like how they're using the um, the OG manga colors for uh, Kibito and uh, Shin there. That's a nice little touch. They're really sort of going the whole really dedicated Toriyama route here. Is it a little demon pilaf or something? Demon pilaf. Are we getting, like, the Pilaf gang, but in, like, demon form? Because th <laughs> that'd be pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie, I would enjoy that. Ooh. Look at the animation. Nope, they are not marching. Well, marching Vegeta, but it's, he's not really a demon. Their ears are round. No, it's key. It's not magic. Key. It's your inner energy. Here comes Boo. Boo! There he is. Turn him into a cookie. Joe would be really good if you could buy the Burr cookies. That'd be really cool. Right. You go and get little packets of Debora cookies. They probably do do that somewhere. Japan does everything. Well, when I'm over there, I'll be sure if I see any, I'll get some. Some Debora cookies. They're devilishly good. Ho oh, ho, I love this bit. Are they going to show Piccolo cutting him in half? Come on, show it. Oh. It's like one of my favorite bits in the Boo Saga where Piccolo just like 
karate chops him in half. I just love that bit. Vegeta's self-sacrifice. That made a lot of people cry. Dragon Balls. So they know about the Dragon Balls then. Oh yeah, Shenron and Parunga are very different. Very different dragons. Rise, Shenron. <laughs> nice little pen spin there. He's handy with a notepad. Three wishes? I thought Shenron could only grant two wishes. They keep changing that, like... I mean, originally it was always one wish until Dende upgraded the dragon. But then it was two wishes, wasn't it? So where do they get three wishes? Like, they keep changing it from one to two to three, from one to two to three, from one to two to three. Punch his head off. Ping! Bye-bye, <laughs> scrotum sack. The scrotum rat sack. Is it me, or is this, um, Boo's house look a bit like a xenomorph? Like a cute version of a xenomorph? I think it's the head shape, maybe. I'm getting sort of a Minority Report type deal here. You ever seen that film Minority Report with like all the screens that just go whoosh, 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 whoosh. Come on, Gotex. That's my grandson. And this is my other grandson, Gohan. Go on, Gohan. Aww. Oh. He just looks so good there, the animation. And here's Kakarot. Summoning the spirit bomb. Super spirit bomb. And that was the end of Boo. The thumbs up. Classic image of Kakarot giving the thumbs up. <laughs> he kind of looks like um, that member of the Pride Troopers. Uh, I can't remember his name, but he's the, the one that can do the tornadoes. Sort of looks a bit like him. Could he be a demon? A demon of Universe 11, maybe? I don't know, I'm just... I'm just speculating here. Behold the king, the king of kings, bow down to the, bow down to the king. Got a bit of a jester look, like he's a bit of a clown. Was he the, the Boris jester or something? Degasu. Dr. Aaron Sue. Oh. Foxy lady. Is she gonna be our um, Canon Toa? Lady Toa? Dr. Aaron Sue? I like the, uh, the red eyeliner. Very, uh, very alluring. You can see that she's gonna be the, uh, the waifu of a lot of people in the near future. A lot of simps gonna be going for Dr. Aransu. She's a doctor. She'll take your temperature. Make you feel all better. <laughs> Very manipulative as well. His chamber definitely looks a lot like um, the Time Nest from uh, Kronoa's uh, Kanton City planet. Like the columns, everything. Just Apart from, obviously, the demon-y looking throne. Just 
It reminds me so much of the Time Nest. Tamagamis. Well, they look pretty cool. I like that, like guardians that protect the Dragon Balls of the Demon Realm. Make them young. Go in the GT route on this one. Babify them. It's like, um... Do you ever play Mortal Kombat? One of the finishing moves you could do was the Babality. Could turn your opponent into a baby. Babality. <laughs> you gotta love silly shit like that. Make them young. I don't know. Saiyan children aren't harmless. Believe you me. Saiyan children are not harmless. I mean, God. Raditz was a handful when he was a kid. I mean, we used to send children to planets to conquer them. That's how dangerous Saiyan children are. Don't underestimate Saiyan children, believe me. A third eye on the floor? Is that something related to Tien, maybe? I mean, I thought it was because his mother had a third eye. Like, that's why he had three eyes? I mean, it's, it's a lot to do with, um, is it Hinduism and Buddhism, where, like, the third eye, something to do with wisdom or something? I'm not too sure about the actual, um, like, the mythology lore behind it, but... I don't know, maybe. It'd be interesting, like, uh... Like if Tien's family learned a secret from the demon realm or something. That'd be interesting. Bring Tien back into relevance. That'd be cool. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Never. So they got their own Namekian. So this must be, uh... Glorio. He is, though. Just... When you look at him, he just looks like a young kid version of Mira. Like... <laughs> like if Mira had a love child, that, that would be Glorio. Maybe that's the plot. Maybe Mira and Dr. Aronsu had a fling, and Glorio was born. Maybe he could be the brother of few. Ooh... That's if they ever make uh, Toa and Mira canon. They probably won't. They might just keep them from the games, but... You never know with Toriyama. He likes to... He likes to mix things up. Okay, he looks... He kind of reminds me of, like, an Ultraman or something. You know, you remember Ultraman? Like a Sentai... Like Toko Sentai or something? That's just pretty cool. Oh, oh, oh like Giver. Do you remember Giver? He's like kind of like a Giver character. <laughs> When's the last time you bathed there, bub? Stick him in a bath. Can't stand stinky people. Make him wash. Stick him in a bathtub. <laughs> he forgot his tooth. He haven't got any teeth left. <laughs> you just got old Chopper there. That's the only tooth you got left. My Namek friend, where would you be without the dental plan? Dental plan. Lisa needs braces. Dental plan. Lisa needs braces. <laughs> There's like a giant fish ship. The Big Bass Man. When you come down to Carp County, Georgia, you better read the signs, respect the law and order. The Big Bass Man's gonna bring you... I don't know the words. Ooh, he's angry. So they have to fly through this fi... Okay. So this fish is the link between... The demon realm and the outside world. Because I know um, the demon realm exists 
within a plane outside of the normal realm. Not to be confused with uh, Hell or Hiffle. It's its own uh, whole realm. Which universe? Okay, so they're acknowledging that um, there are multiple universes, so there's definitely some hints of super in here. Universe 3 is popular? Who was in Universe 3? Oh, you, I'm trying to think. Universe 3. Was that Rebrand's universe by any chance? Or am I remembering that wrong? Universe 3. I'm going to have to look that up afterwards. I'm pretty sure that was um, uh, Rebrand's universe. So that's why it's popular, because all the magical girls, maybe. So Aaron Sue has already gone outside. Okay. Happy birthday, Trunks. Oh, look at that for a cake. Orange grapes. Oh, I bet it's one of those, um... You ever had one of those Asian cakes that's really light and fluffy with, like, clotted cream? Oh, just... Oh, it's making me savor just thinking about it. Look at the food. Look, steaks, hamburgers. Oh, just... It's making me hungry. Chi-Chi's got some, uh, Prosecco there. Kakarot's got a... Was that a turkey drumstick or a chicken drumstick? <laughs> Even the Kai's are drinking some uh, Prosecco there. Yeah, that's a point. When they fused? Aren't they still fused in Super, though? And then they get unfused? Yeah. I thought it was because the time ran out because they were mortals. Okay, so Margin Boo's magic can reverse Patara Fusion as well. Is that going to be a plot point? And are they going to have to refuse? Oh, look, he's got Nigiri there as well. Steak! With pineapple and nigiri. What a feast. God, my Saiyan appetite is really giving me hell here. I feel like Pooh Bear. Got a rumbly in my tumbly. Yeah, where is Gohan? Being distant. Okay, Gohan not being here. Does that mean he's going to play a pivotal role in something? <laughs> Kakarot's got a food baby. Kind of looks like when Gine was carrying him and carrying Raditz. You fat bastard, Kakarot. <laughs> Alright, some training. What's that decoration they got? It's like, it's like a sweet dispenser. Is that like jelly beans and... Uh, wasabi nut, wasabi peas, some, like, peanuts. Oh, cho chocolate raisins. Look at the animation. Absolutely gorgeous. These guys have really gone all out on this. What a way to send Toriyama off. It's a shame he couldn't live to see the, uh, the final product. Okay, we got Kami's lookout, or the lookout now, because obviously it's Dende's now. The only thing I've never understood is Piccolo aged really quickly in Dragon Ball. Like, he went from being a child to an adult in the span of, what, five years, I think it was? How come Dende hasn't aged as quickly? Like, you think he would have aged a little bit quicker, but... I mean, what's the... Oh, maybe... N no, wait, because there's a seven-year gap between um, the Android Saga and the Boo Saga. So, yeah, he should be an adult by now. I've never got that. I don't know, maybe because Piccolo was, like... Because Kami was older, so I don't know. Oh! 
Oh! So Demon King Piccolo isn't just a title. He is a demon. So the Namekians were from the demon realm. We've always speculated that they were from somewhere. So wait, does that mean the Dragon God is also a demon? Oh, interesting. He looks so much like Manido. He really looks like Manido, like a lot. So the Namekians are from the Demon Realm. That's really cool. That's a lovely throwback to OG Dragon Ball. Tamagamis. They're obviously going to play a really big role in the rest of the series. What in the world? Wait, he can summon the Dragon Balls just like that while they're still stone? That is broken. That's a broken ability. How? Even Dende's like, what the? That's so broken. I mean, you're not going to be able to make a wish because they're stone. You have to wait a year. What? No. No way. No, no, no. He can't. Surely. Well, there you go, Dende. You need to learn that trick. He literally just restored the wishing power of the Dragon Balls just like that. His little black notebook. He's meticulous, I'll give him that. Ooh! Would you like some juice? Yeah, you hit my friend, but uh, would you like some juice? Here comes Shenron. In order to win, you must defeat Shenron. So they sense, they definitely sense the other Kais. Or the, Mak the Makayo Shins. I think it means the fruit from the tree was rotten, so they become a, like a demon Kai. I think that's the lore. Like, if it's a golden apple, it becomes a supreme Kai. If it's a regular one, it becomes a regular Kai. And if it's rotten, it becomes a, a, a Makayo Shin. Like a demon supreme Kai. First graders. Even Shenron's like, what? Here we go. Uh-oh. Oh, it looks like they're in a lot of pain. Oh, no. Now you're all children. And that was Dragon Ball Daima Episode 1. Well, the animation is absolutely phenomenal. Like, the, it's just so crisp to look at. I'm really enjoying it so far. Um, most of it, obviously, was just a recap of the Boo Saga. But we've been introduced to uh, King Goma, um... Aaron Sue, and I can't remember the male Kai. I'm old, right? I'm, I'm not as old as that Namekian, but I'm pretty old, okay? But, um, 
yeah, some really interesting lore to stop there. Like, the Namekians are really from the demon realm. Um, the fact that Majin Buu's magic can reverse fusion. Some other bits and pieces as well. But no, I'm going to look forward to watching the rest of this series. Anyway, if you enjoyed this reaction and would like to see more, give that like button a little. Also, smash that subscribe button. Smash with all your might. Also, give that notification bell a little ring-a-ding-ding, ding-a-ling chicken wing to stay notified of all of our content. Uh, for exclusives, head on over to our Patreon page and leave suggestions for future content in the comments below. Anyway, Gine's cooking up something scrumptious that looks just as good as the food that was at that party. And I'm famished, so I'll see you all in the next one. Bardock out. Also, check out our brand new merch line. Link in the description, or head on over to our homepage. He looks just like you, though, don't you think? He certainly has his past. He looks just like you though, don't you think? He certainly has his father's hair, for better or worse. Maybe it's because of the constant